Morning everyone, Dr. J here and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone had a wonderful Independence Day that you were able to stay safe, maintain some distance, but be with family as much as you could and be able to celebrate in your own way. It's a little different right now. We don't probably feel like we have the freedoms we once had with all of the shutdowns and lockdowns and everything else. And it's just crazy, it's crazy. So I hope you still found freedom, you still found your independence and that you were able to celebrate however it was important and impactful to you uh, for this 4th of July. Today, I wanna make some breakfast croissant sandwiches. Uh, do you remember back in the day when Burger King came out with the croissant? That croissant was fantastic. It had an actual croissant. It had your egg, whatever, breakfast meat, some American cheese. It was just a great bite. Now when you go to get it, it's a little bitty dinky. It's some kind of a prepared bun that looks kind of like a croissant, but it's not the same. Today I've got some nice, fresh, oh, it smells so good, nice, fresh croissants that I've already went ahead and split. My wife likes the ham and Swiss croissants with no egg. So I've got some of that hickory smoked ham that I've been using. That's been really good meat. Makes for a really, a, a really good sandwich. I've got some breakfast sausage for me because I want a sausage patty on mine. I want some egg. So I've got a nice egg here that we're going to put in the ring mold. I've got some American, white American cheese and some baby Swiss that we're going to use for these two sandwiches. And this is going to make for one heck of a breakfast. So this is how I celebrate my independence. <laughs> it's like I'm out here and I cook what I want on my griddle in my nice backyard. It's a little windy today. I apologize for the noise. People are getting out more, so there's more cars going down the street. I'm gonna do the best I can to make sure you can hear what I'm saying. I'm gonna bring you in closer to the griddle to make sure you can see all the action. So we've got all my burners set to low right now. This has been heating up now for 15, 20 minutes while I was getting everything ready. We're running right about 400 degrees over most of the griddle. My griddle runs pretty warm. So yeah, hotter spots right there in the middle, about 415 degrees. That's where I'm going to start that sausage. The first thing I'm going to put down is that breakfast sausage. I've got uh, some wax paper and my Blackstone burger press. I'm going to press it down and then I'm going to make it a little bit thinner even after that with the spatula just to make sure I get it nice and, and round and ready for my, my good sized croissant here. Get a little bit of oil down right here in the middle. Won't take much. Sausage down. I'm gonna set my parchment paper right over the middle. And press that down into a nice patty. Hold it here for just a second. And you see that turned out to a nice size patty, but in comparison to my croissant, I can make it a little bit thinner. Make it fit just the way I want it. I want to give a huge thank you to all the servicemen and women out there that help protect the freedom that I enjoy every single day. Thank you. There we go. Now as you look at that croissant. We've got a good size. By the time that shrinks down where it's going to be, that'll fit on our croissants perfectly. Over on this side is where I'm the coolest. We're in about 317. Actually, going to move my egg mold down to this side. That way, when it's ready, I'll start my egg over there. Went inside and got just a little bit of butter here to go ahead and start toasting our croissants. Butter down. Slice those are nice, airy. They're going to turn out good on that flat top. Let me set a pan down here. Nice 
little bit of oil in our rain mode. Get a little bit of butter going in there too. Drop our egg. Egg is down. Let's see how the other side of our sausage is looking. Beautiful. Put in a little salt. Get a pepper on my egg. Up well. I'm get those bottoms good and toasty and set my cheese on it. Go ahead and start melting that cheese. Nice toasty bottom. I'll put that Swiss down. Get it started melting for my wife's ham and cheese. Nice color on that ham. Oh, that's looking good. White American cheese down for mine. Nice toasty croissant right on top of that ham there. Looking good. All right, our egg looks like it's just about ready for a quick flip. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Finishing up. Go ahead and pop that sausage on top. See that fits perfect on my sandwich. That works great. Egg right on top of that. A nice toasty top bun. Woo, that's hot. Right on top there. Man, oh man, oh man. I think we're in good shape, guys. Let's go ahead and pull these off. American cheese is melting up really well. We're gonna let that sit for just a second and cut into it and take a bite. All right, guys, are you ready for this? Look at that beautiful breakfast sandwich. Perfect yolks. Your meat's not too thick. It covers the croissant well. That cheese is nice and melty underneath. You get just, a, just the right amount of that butter flaky croissant. That looks so good to me. Tell you what, how about we take a taste of that? Mm. <laughs> that looks so good, guys. And the way that croissant toasted up on the inside. Mm. Wow. It's a perfect amount of sausage. That creamy yolk with a buttery flaky croissant. Mmm, man. It's not too much of any proportion. You get the the, the cheese on the back, a little creamy, little little twang of that American cheese. 
very nice. That is how you celebrate your independence in America, in my opinion. By making whatever the heck you want for breakfast. For me today, it was this croissant breakfast sandwich. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as I'll be putting more videos out soon. And I thank you guys for joining me. Have a great independent day.